I am now two weeks into daily driving the iPhone 12 Pro, and that might lead you to ask the question, Linus, where is your review of the iPhone 12 lineup? And the answer is, I didn't really feel like I can talk about the iPhone 12 lineup, and typically we only do one Linus Tech Tips video per new iPhone launch until I had met the whole family, and that is just what I'll be doing today. One of these two devices is going to replace the 12 Pro in my pocket. And the reason for that is I've found the 12 Pro to be kind of like a, a tweener, you know? It's not really small enough for me to totally comfortably use it one-handed, but it's not really big enough to satisfy my content consumption, you know, urges, so to speak. Because remember guys, the device I came from was actually the Galaxy Fold. Well, the second one actually, the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So going from that kind of a screen to this was like, eh, yeah, I guess it's okay. It's all right, I guess. So in front of me then is the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Which one do you want to see first, Andy? The big one. You want the big one? You gonna? I thought we were gonna save the chungus for the end. All right, let's go straight to the chungus. This is the chungusy, chungusiest iPhone that we've ever had. Look at the freaking side. Wait, is that camera bump actually bigger? No, no. Okay, it just feels gigantic because of probably this uh, marble skin from D Brand. Of course, the phones were sent by D Brand because Apple does not send me devices. So there you have it. Well, it's big, all right. I really don't know about the squareness at this size, dude. This is a gigantic feeling device. Face ID, man. I'm gonna talk about it more in the full review, but face ID is like not great for a COVID world where I'm wearing a mask anywhere from six to 10 hours a day. It's not a great experience. Some apps don't handle notifications very gracefully if you don't look at it and have face ID work. You have to like swipe away, like Twitter mentions, for example. If you use your passcode to unlock, they're just gone. Well, you can't just pull down the shade, or I don't know what Apple calls it, but what I would call a notification shade. You can't just pull it down and be like, oh yeah, all those notifications, well, they're gone. So not being able to use face ID all the time, the fact that there's no fingerprint sensor in these power buttons drives me freaking crazy. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and use Apple's super cool painless setup system here. I also hate the security, or rather the insecurity of using my pin, my passcode all the time because you never know if someone's watching. Like that's one of the best things about Face ID is that your second authentication factor is one that you don't have to have on display all the time. Like I always feel like I'm at a public pin pad. I should be like going like this. Uh, hold your new iPhone up to the camera. Blah, 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 blah. Apple's probably sitting there going like, what? Who upgrades from an iPhone? 12 Pro to a Pro Max. As with the 12 Pro, you get a cable and you get a little, look at this, got a little SIM removal tool, get that little Apple. Hey, they only give one Apple sticker now? Yeah. It's well balanced. That's something Apple has always done extremely well. It is, it makes such a big difference in the handling, like especially as devices got bigger, it became more and more important for them to be well balanced because you'd get like a top heavy one and you put it in your hand and you'd go, whoa, no, what happened to my phone? Don't worry, it's not gonna be damaged because we got this three and a half millimeter thick LTT Northern Lights mouse pad, lttstore.com actually, it's not available yet, coming soon though. This video is brought to you by Soundcore. The Soundcore thankful giveaway is basically just some appreciation to our viewers. They're giving away over 300 items, including two Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros, 30 Flare 2 Bluetooth speakers. Those things are flipping awesome and more. A great feature if you do happen to win a Flare 2, or if you buy one is of course PartyCast, which allows you to pair up to a hundred. Actually, I don't think there's a limit, but we did a hundred of them at the same time off of a single Bluetooth device. It works absolutely flawlessly. My kids use it all the time. So check out the link in the video description to enter the giveaway right away. Transferring data, time remaining, estimating. I don't think I have a ton of data on here. I haven't taken like a ton of pictures and video in spite of how outstanding the camera is. All right, now, Let's have a look while this does its thing. Let's have a look at the little bitty Linus sized one. Where is my iPhone 4? Hey, Jono, where's that bin of iPhones? This is tiny. Like this reminds me of the first SE or like the five, five and five S or something. It's even kind of light too, especially coming from holding one of these more, more chungusy ones. There's your Type-C lightning. 
Ah, yes, good, here's my iPhone box. Okay, in terms of size, especially with the case on, it's actually not that far off. It is bigger though. God, that notch looks unholy big on a phone this small though. That's like more notch than Minecraft, you know? You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna show my passcode, but like, wow, this is one handable. Like if you don't do a ton of content consumption on the go with your phone, boy, is that ever handleable. I like it. And what's great is unlike what we've seen happen with Android over the years, Apple hasn't crippled this thing. They didn't go and put like a crappier processor in or anything. This is a full fat iPhone 12. Like it doesn't get obviously the same triple camera setup as the iPhone 12 Pro, so there, there is a, there are definitely some compromises here, but they're small ones, they're small ones. And I would expect because they're all running the same processor that you would see support last for a similar amount of time compared to the other iPhone 12 family members. How much is it for Pro Max, I don't know. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. You know how it is. Man, should I try and daily drive this thing? Yeah, I should try and maybe. You're gonna miss the screen size. Do you watch any TV or movies on your phone? No. Nothing? Oh, see, I'm a big mobile mobile media consumer. Like, I wouldn't do that while I'm pooping. Be really <laughs> tough to have. <laughs> wow. You know what really has been bothering me too in the last couple of weeks? The fact that you can't just put anything you want in command center. And also, why the f is there not a settings command center doodad? And what is with the arbitrary sorting in here? Like, why is camera in with, with like, where, oh, where's camera again? I was looking for camera and it took me like ages. Yeah, there. Why is camera in with like photos and Apple TV and like game center? And they don't have headers. So there's no like <laughs> clear rhyme or reason behind how these things are grouped here. Why is app store and wallet and Okay, sorry, sorry, this is not, this is not my review of the phone. I just wanna watch a movie on a big iPhone screen because boy is the screen ever gorgeous. The chunk, it's not even thicker. It's just, it's squared off. You know, I thought I wanted this, which is what's really funny about it. Like that was one of the first things that I said I was excited about and yet actually using it daily, really just not as comfortable. So here's the 11 Pro Max for comparison. Very similar width, actually a touch, no, it feels really big because it just is really big. Okay. They really haven't done much about how thick those bezels are either, have they? Touch thinner total. And I guess the squared offness helps with that. So it does mean that the screen is larger. I am so disappointed that the notch A continues to be there at all and B continues to be so darn big. Wait, Andy, I initially said they didn't look different. Wait, is that camera bump actually bigger? No, no, okay. But I was totally wrong. No, they're totally different. Look how much bigger the one on the 12 Pro Max is. So that's uh, that makes sense because it does have a longer telephoto lens. Well, that's one compelling reason to carry a bigger chungus phone in your pocket. Having up to two and a half X optical zoom is pretty nice too. Let's fire up YouTube for some content consumption. Man, that is really small. And look at this. Oh my God, look what they did. When you're watching full screen 16 by nine content, you're not just dealing with the rounded corners. You get a little bit of notch. Oh, why did you do this? You're Apple. You can create a display in any aspect ratio and form factor you want. All you had to do was make the phone one millimeter taller. Oh, to be fair, our aspect ratio is 2.1. Oh, oh, that's true, it is. It's two to one, you're right. It's on us, it's on us. Why couldn't we just make our video one millimeter narrower? You know what? The more I play with the Pro Max and the Mini, the more I'm like, yeah, the 12 and the 12 Pro are probably the right size. And given that the features of the 12 Pro, so you get the LiDAR scanner as well as the third camera are like not gonna make a huge deal to the vast majority of people, the 12 looks like the winner, doesn't it? Unless you absolutely must have a tiny iPhone because you're still rocking the like, 5S or something and you, you you can't let it go. If if that's you, if you're one of these, this is gonna be, wow, whoopsie daisies, this is gonna be real comfortable. Real comfortable. This screen is broken. Or not the screen, the uh, the protector that was on it. 
All right then. So uh, what's stronger? What's stronger? Traditional tempered glass or the ceramic glass? We, we, we mashed iPhones together until we knew for sure. All right, Andy, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'll try the 12 mini. I'll put my SIM in this. And what you guys should try is getting subscribed to Short Circuit for more first impressions and quick looks and all that kind of stuff.